Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I decided I was going to share a little bit more of my southern hospitality with y'all. So I'm cooking Sunday dinner. So y'all go get you a plate and get you a seat and let's eat Sunday dinner. It's typical to eat Sunday dinner after church here in the south. So let's go eat. Alright, so first things first, we're going to heat up our grease or our oil, whichever one you call it. I've just got some vegetable oil in my pan. Then I'm going to cut up my chicken breast and I'm just um, cutting up three chicken breasts because that's plenty for my family. But of course, you cut up however many you need for your family. And I'm just cutting them long ways into strips as you see here. And then we're just going to put them in the bowl and then we'll season them up. So now it's time to season up our chicken and I always tell y'all to use whatever kind of seasonings that you like. But I'm going to be using some of this Tony's Creole seasoning, some garlic salt, and a little bit of this olive oil. I'm going to put the olive oil on it first. I want the seasonings to stick to my chicken so that's why I'm going to put the oil on it first. Then we'll do the garlic salt and the Tony's and then we'll kind of mix that up really well. So now we're going to get ready to flour our chicken and I'm just going to use this Ziploc bag. Um, you could just do it in a bowl, you know, dip it, dip your chicken into the flour in the bowls and then put it in the grease. But I just find it's easier to do it this way with the bag. You just pour your flour in the bag, then you dump in your seasoned chicken and y'all don't dump it in there like I did because I almost made a huge mess everywhere. But anyway, you get your chicken in the bag. <laughs> See what I was talking about? You put your chicken in the bag and you just kind of shake it up really well. Make sure you get all the chicken coated with the flour. Okay, so once you get all your chicken coated really well, you're going to be ready to start frying it. And to test my grease and make sure it's hot enough, I flick a little bit of flour in there. And if it bubbles up like that, that means it's ready. Then I just put my chicken in there and I fry it on both sides until it's crispy and golden brown. sides to go with our chicken tenders I'm just doing some canned green beans I just dumped the can of green beans into my pot but for some reason I lost that footage then I'm adding in a packet of this Italian seasoning dressing stuff um, and some bacon pieces and then I'm just gonna mix that up and cook that on low until everything else is done and we'll have some delicious bacon flavored green beans 
All right, so once your chicken is becoming crispy and golden brown, you can take it out of the grease. And then I like to put a paper towel onto my plate just to catch any of the grease that's gonna come off that chicken, just to keep it from being really greasy. And then you just repeat the steps that I showed you before. You just flour your chicken, put it in the grease, fry it until it's crispy and golden brown, and then you'll take that out as well. This is how your chicken should look once it comes out of the grease. Like I said, crispy and golden brown. All right, so for another side to go with our chicken strips, I just made mashed potatoes and I've made this mashed potatoes before on my channel, but all you'll need is cubed up potatoes, bowl them until they're soft, add in some heavy whipping cream, butter, and salt and pepper, mix it up really well, and you've got some mashed potatoes. For our white gravy, I'm just using this Pioneer Woman, not Pioneer Woman, just Pioneer Country Gravy Mix. I'm just following the directions on the back of the pack. It's really simple. You bring so much water to a bowl, and then in the measuring cup, you add so much water, and you mix in your packet. Then you pour that into your bowl and water, and you whisk it up until it thickens up, and you have country gravy. This was our first time trying this gravy, and it was actually really good. All right, y'all, the food's done. It's time to eat dinner, so y'all go get y'all a plate, and let's say the blessing. And for dessert to go with our chicken strips and mashed potatoes and gravy and green beans, I just made this Betty Crocker No Bake Cookie Dough Bites, and they were so, so yummy, y'all. I just followed the directions on the back of the box, but I hope y'all enjoyed this Sunday dinner video. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.